What's up guys, TJ here with another video. A lot of people have been asking me to um, show them how to work their Cody box and get their Exodus back working because about a week or two ago it kind of stopped working and there's a way to uh, get it kind of revamped and back where you want it to be. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go. So we're gonna start on the, we are on a Amazon Fire Stick device this is actually the one with the alexa remote um so you mean you may not necessarily look like this but it should and um the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your cody app which i can't find right now let's see so we will go to cody now mine mind you is um has been malfunctioning so it may freeze if it does freeze I'll pick back up on the menu you need to go to but what you need to look for is your file manager and whatever build you are using so we're going to click on Cody hope for the best <laughs> all right there we go all right I'm going to just do this really quickly because mine has been freezing up I'm going to go over to File Manager. Let's click on that. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Add Source. And you're going to click on None. And you're going to type in this address. I'm going to try to see. Now this uh, is going to actually download the Aries um, project to your fire stick and this is what you're going to use to kind of wipe everything clean and start with a clean slate It'd be good if I could spell magic alright so you should have http colon backslash backslash repo dot ares dash project dot com slash magic and if everything is typed in correctly then it should stick so I'm going to leave it there for a second so you can see it and if you need more time just pause the video so we're going to click done and I'm going to name this um, I normally put a dot in front of it, that way it's at the top of the list, so we just do dot areas. Alright, and push OK. Alright, so it is there. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go back and we are going to, um, let's see, you can go back. And you want to go to install from zip. So click on install from zip. And you want to do install from zip file. And you want to click on areas. And you're going to click on repository.areas project. And you're going to click on click on the zip file. You're going to wait. And you're going to wait. And you're going to wait. And it's going to actually install the areas program to your fire stick. Now, if you don't see your pop-up uh, come up, like mine is not, go ahead and click on Install from Repository. And we do see that the Aries project is installed. So go ahead and click on that. And you're going to go down to Program Add-ons. And you're going to click on Ares Wizard. And this should should be what yours look like. It shouldn't have anything but install. So we're going to go ahead and click install. It's going to download. Alright, so it is enabled now. So now what you want to do is you want to click on it again. And you're going to go to open. Now if you already had it installed, uh, you don't have to install it again. You can just click on open. 
So we're going to go ahead and click on open. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to do a fresh, um, we're going to erase everything. We're going to do a fresh install of the, uh, this new build, which is going to be Xenon Clean Wizard. So what we want to do is you want to go to browse builds and we're going to go down and we're going to find uh, digs with a Z fire builds. All right, if you get this error, I got this error last time. You just go out and you click on it again. All right, and we are going to go to um, Fresh Start. And it's going to ask you if you want to remove all add-ons uh, from Cody. And we're going to say yes. And I don't want to keep anything, so I'm just going to click Proceed. And it's going to go through the motion. It's going to delete everything. And we'll wait on that. All right, now that everything's been deleted, what should have happened is it should have asked me if um, I want it to restart because you do have to restart after you delete everything. But just for a good measure, we'll go over here and we'll erase all data and click on Fresh Start. We'll say yes. So everything should be gone. And what you want to do now is you want to force close your coding. That's going. That's kind of like sealing the deal. All right. So code is forced closed. What we'll do is we'll open it back up, and this should just pull up the default code without any any kind of build. Of course, right now I'm on 17.1. I need to update to 17.3. I can show you all how to do that uh, in a separate video. Just shoot me a, a comment in the comment section below if you want a video on how to go from code 17.1 to 17.3. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we are going to have to reinstall the um, Ares wizard because you see right now I don't have anything. So what you want to do is you want to, oh. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings. And you are going to want to go to your system settings. And you want to go to add-ons. And you're going to want to go to Unknown Sources. You want to turn it on. Uh, you can read what that says. It's basically just saying that, you know, you're taking the risk of downloading Unknown Sources. All right. We'll go back. And now you want to go to your File Manager. You want to go to Add Source. And we're going to add that Ares Wizard back uh, on your Fire Stick. Alright, so that's what it is. HTTP colon backslash backslash repo dot ares dash project dot com slash magic. And go ahead and press OK. And we're going to name that uh, dot ares again. And click OK. Okay. And then we're going to go back. 
I'm going to go back again. All right, now we're going to go down to add-ons. You're going to go up to this little box up here. Click on that. Then we're going to go to install from zip file. You're going to click on your areas. Click on the repository and click on the zip file. And now it should go through the motions again and download. And it shouldn't take too long for it to install. If it does take a little bit, you can just click on the install. Okay, there you go. Add on install. So we're going to go up to install from repository. And we're going to click on the Ares project. And we're going to go down to program add-ons. And we're going to click on the Ares wizard. And it's all, oh, we're going to have to click on enable. And then we can click on open. And it should go through the motions again and it will open the wizard again. All right, we're going to go down to the Diggs Fire Builds again. Excuse my dog was barking in the background, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a minute for it to load. All right, click on uh, Z9 Clean. And we're going to click on install. I'm going to click on proceed. And you are going to just let it download. And we'll just sit here and let it let it do its thing. All right, so after the download has finished, it is going to um, attempt to install. Now, once it gets done, it should um, ask me if I want to restart or force, co uh, force close Cody. And the answer is going to be yes. Now, if it does not ask me if I want to force close, then I have to force close it myself. I'm going to give it some time to see if it is going to ask me if I would like to force close. Uh, for this question, I always mark no. And no. Alright, so it's going to tell me that Cody needs to be force closed. And I'm going to say, okay, if it does not close, don't panic. You can either go to more and force close, or you can unplug your device, wait for a second, and plug it back in. Same thing. So it did close. So I'm going to go back to my Kodi, and I'm going to open it back up. Now, when you install a new build, I encourage you, when it first starts up, you know, you're going to be excited because it's new, and you know you're gonna to want to watch your movies or your shows or whatever, but give it time to load. It's gonna take a minute for it to load, and you want to make sure that it has enough time to um, kind of do its thing, install everything, um, you know, clean everything out, reorganize the files. It takes a minute the first time you load it, so just let it load. Um, also, the very very first time that you uh, turn on your new build sometimes it can like freeze and if it freezes don't panic all right so like i said i'm just gonna let it load and normally uh i give it a minute or two just to make sure that everything's kind of loaded up it can load the widgets and everything and you will note notice on the bottom i believe right hand corner it'll be like some little pop-up saying you know kind of showing you stuff is loading so we'll wait on that yep now if yours freezes up like mine did I'm going to show you how to force close it you're going to go to settings you'll go over to 
see where we go. Applications. You go down to manage installed applications. And you go down to find your Kodi. And you click on four stop. All right, now we can go back home. Go down and reopen your coding. Now that I've loaded everything back up, I am going to wait again. Normally when the um, the widgets pop up at the top, that's when the build is ready for you to actually start moving around and looking at things. So we will wait on that. Alright, now that everything has popped up, the build should be uh, ready for us to kind of move around. So I will show you that it's working. Now I will say that since the uh, legislation have come, has come out, the videos um, do load a little bit slower um, so we'll try something I just want to show you that Exodus does work alright here we go All right, so here we go. It is showing. It is playing. I'm not going to play too much of it, but uh, this does show you that it is working as of today, which is July 2nd, 2017. I am going to go back and uh, show you this Exodus. And Exodus still works like it used to. You can go in here and you can find... You can go in here and find whatever you want, just like you used to. Go over here to in theaters, new movies, whatever, whatever you want to see. And it is um, going to work like it used to. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. Um, like I said, if you like these types of videos, please like, uh, comment, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.